everybody. Gideon here with GTM Farms. Today, we are going to be, well I already did a little bit of it, but we are expanding the chicken coop. Finally adding that long awaited chicken run so that they can scatter about. I uh, have pretty much all the materials I need here. Uh, we have, I'm gonna build another section like this so it goes all the way over here too. And uh, yeah, so we have more cattle panels. I just gotta drag them over from that side of the house over to here. And uh, yeah, I'll just kinda do like I did last time and give you a little kinda video updates every now and again. So stick with us to see the final product. Hopefully we can get it all done today. It's about, it's about noon. Uh, got kind of a late start on it, but hopefully we can get it all done today. If not today, then probably tomorrow. So stick with us. Okay, so we have the last two sections up and the last thing, well, the last part in this step is going to be attaching the panels together with the zip ties so that they don't wobble apart and then attaching them to the base with uh, this uh, pipe hanger, wire pipe hanger, uh, aluminum, and some screws. So uh, yeah, that's the next step and then we'll bring you back when we're on to the next. Alright, so this this part was a little arduous, but uh, we got the door made. Um, no measuring, just uh, made kind of made a freehand door. Uh, yeah, so it opens and closes like it should, just like last time. I put a little stopper there so the hinges don't get stressed when it swings back. So uh, yeah, the next step is a big one, and that is to cover from there all the way down to here with either hardware cloth or chicken wire, whatever we have lying around. I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think we have enough of either or to finish it. So yeah, that's the next step. Okay, so we're getting the chicken wire on these pieces. I recruited Emily to help me, uh, but we're losing daylight, so we might have to finish this up tomorrow, but we're gonna get as much done as we can on this part. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna work on that and we'll update you tomorrow. So you might be thinking, that's a lot of zip ties, but why are we doing all these zip ties? Why are you zipping where you're zipping? Ah, okay, so I'm doing all along the bottom so it's as close to the base as possible. And then after we get all the chicken wire on, we're gonna go back through with the pipe hanger and screw it onto the base. Then everywhere where the two different, two different pieces of mesh connect, we're doing every single one. And then when we get to an overlap in the cattle panels, we're doing every one to every other, depending on how loose the chicken wire is there, just to add a little bit of stability with the frame. So right now we're trying to finish up the coop. It is Monday evening, Sunday it rained all day, so we weren't able to continue with that. I got one of my little helpers here with me. Um, right now we are just zip tying some chicken wire that's overlapping together um, and yeah we're just going to continue with that and hope we have enough chicken wire to finish this whole thing up and hopefully get the chickens out here tonight chickens are so happy to have the run finished yay and i'm so happy to be done working on it in the heat our run is 8 by 24 coop is 8 by 12 I just opened that up. We're putting a door on there later, but um, I forgot to bring it out. And my sons are, our sons are a little impatient waiting for me to be down over here. So just clipped it so that the birds could enjoy some beautiful sunshine and fresh bugs and grass before, uh, for a few hours before they have to go back in for the night. We kind of were running low on materials. There are places we're going to have to reinforce. Um, we'll see how our predator load is. We've never seen any in our yard. There are areas down here at the end that have the 2 by 4 fencing, like on our boys' um, play area, which is definitely going to have to be re reinforced with at least chicken wire when... Um, 
when we have the finances to buy more. Whoa! Black Brahma on patrol. At this point, the Brahmas really should be laying, but they're not. They're over 20 weeks. So I'm wondering if they were just unhappy being confined and now they'll start laying. That would be nice. As you can see in, in this corner here, there are still some smaller ones. The Lavender Orpingtons are a good two months younger than the Brahmas at least. And the Silkies of course are small too. Ugh, such a beautiful sight. So, Emily decided to finish the coop while I was at work today. She did a stellar job. It's all done, it's all wired in. So I just put the finishing touch on it and put a door leading from the coop into the run. So, yeah, that should be uh, the last thing with that. The only other thing with this chicken coop is I gotta add some nest boxes in the actual coop so that uh, they can start laying. They should. Uh, a couple of the breeds in there that we have should be almost ready to start laying eggs, so got to get that done. Well, we thank you so much for watching this update video on the chicken coop, and we will see you in the next video. Have a good day, bub. Yes, yeah.